Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anjali Kumar. I'm a gynecologist and obstetrician. And I once again bring greetings to you from METHRI. METHRI is a space where we talk anything and everything about women's health. So today we'll be talking about a very common women's health problem, which practically 70% of women have faced sometime in their lifetimes. Today, we will be talking about breast pain or painful breasts. So, uh, this is a symptom which practically causes feelings of a lot of anxiety, worry, fear of cancers and a lot of insecurities in the minds of women. So, to address that, today I have Dr. Rohan Khandelwal with me. He is a consultant breast surgeon and he's a specialist in breast diseases. He works at CK Billa Hospital for Women. Practically both of us work yes. at the same hospital. So thank you very much Dr. Rohan for agreeing to come on METRI. Well, thank you very much for having me over ma'am. And thank you for discussing this very important issue mm. which uh, ladies face in their uh, everyday life. So for any lady with a breast related disorder, gynecologists mm -hmm. are usually the first point of contact. Yeah. Right? And proper evaluation for the right cause is important as there are many causes of breast pain. Mm. And uh, you know, the first fear always is about cancer. Yes, mm. absolutely, absolutely. So now Dr. Rohan, what are the common causes of breast pain? As a gynecologist, I know there are three, four main causes of uh, breast pain. Uh, Premenstrually, a lot of people have breast pain when a woman is pregnant, when she is breastfeeding. But there are other causes also, which I think every woman must know. So, uh, when a lady comes to me, my first thing is to divide the pain, whether it is a cyclical pain mm -hmm. or a non cyclical pain. Mm -hmm. As you rightly said, that the most common cause is premenstrual. Mm -hmm. So, we classify that as cyclical pain. Mm -hmm. And that usually occurs due to hormonal imbalance. Mm -hmm. right? Non-cyclical causes which we evaluate are usually musculoskeletal. Mm -hmm. So I get a lot of ladies, you know, who will start exercising after a gap of three or four mm -hmm. months. And, you know, they'll be so enthusiastic that they'll probably do push-ups, they'll lift yeah. weights. And then they come to me with muscle pulls mm -hmm. and muscular pain. Yeah. Another very important cause is cardiac pain. So if mm -hmm. there's left-sided breast pain, a lady yeah. should rule that out as yeah. well. Are there any drugs also which if a person is having can also cause breast pain absolutely ma'am so mm -hmm. the most common drug which uh, you know gynecologists prescribe <laughs> a lot are oral contraceptive pills yeah. and they can give rise to breast engorgement and pain other drugs which um, also cause breast pain are antidepressants which mm -hmm. a lot of uh, ladies are using these days even things like hrt you know a lot of women who take hrt so basically all the hormonal preparations can actually cause uh, breast engorgement, breast heaviness, breast tenderness, breast pain. So make sure if you have breast pain and you're visiting a doctor, please tell the doctor that you're having all these drugs. So as we discussed that cyclical pain is the most common mm -hmm. and the most common cause of the cyclical pain is fibrocystic disease. Mm -hmm. I know this is a technical term. Let mm -hmm. me just break it down for you. So mm -hmm. there are cysts, cysts are fluid filled cavities which form in the breast and because of that there is breast pain. Hmm. Now, all these cysts don't require active management yes. because cysts form in each cycle hmm. and they will hmm. form and they'll resolve as the periods yes. come. Is there any type of a inner wear, you know, the kind of a bra which a woman uses can cause breast pain or should they be careful on buying a particular kind of a bra? Wearing underwired bras uh, are sometimes associated with breast pain. But what is important is that not all underwired bras cause pain. Mm -hmm. If it's a well-fitting underwired bra, then it's fine. Is using a deodorant or maybe keeping a mobile phone in their chest pocket, can it cause breast pain or maybe even breast cancers? Uh, mm -hmm. So there are, there's no scientific evidence to support that mm -hmm. uh, using underarm deodorants or uh, keeping a mobile phone in their chest pocket leads mm -hmm. to breast pain or breast cancer. Are there any kind of specific foods also which can actually cause breast pain? Anything which increases the hormonal output mm. right, will yeah. lead to breast pain. So yeah. food, food materials which are rich in phytoestrogens like tofu mm. and certain milk products mm. can give rise to increased breast pain. Mm. So that's very true. All the foods which are actually rich in estrogen 
can cause uh, breast heaviness and breast pain. So even foods like refined food, processed food, packaged food. Now there are a lot of studies which say that the processed food or the plastic packaging of the food actually leaches what is known as xenoestrogens into the food which actually theoretically can cause breast pain. So like I have been always telling you all in my previous uh, videos also Stay away from packaged, refined and processed food and learn to eat only homemade healthy food. Yeah. Another thing which we haven't discussed ma'am is stress. Yes. So that is one of the Very biggest reasons yeah. for breast pain. Stress can actually uh, augment any kind of pain in the body uh, that applies to breast pain as well. Okay. So uh, one of the most common and most worrisome question which I get to hear is ma'am am I suffering from cancer? So yes doctor please yeah. batayye, cancer to nahi hai. Well um, look um, we always say that breast cancer the most common symptom is hmm. a painless lump in the breast. Yes. Right? Yes, pain can be a symptom of breast cancer, but it's usually at the later stages. Hmm, hmm, but hmm. as we've discussed in the starting of the video as well, whether there is pain or no pain, if there is yes. a lump, hmm. you need to get yourself evaluated. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So we do a history and physical examination. That's the first part of it. Then they undergo an imaging test. Hmm, hmm. Now, one thing which I want to highlight here is that any lady who's less than 40 years of age hmm, should hmm. get an ultrasound. Yes. And more than 40 years of age should get a mammogram. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Getting a mammogram before 40 years of age is mm -hmm. not useful for us because it does not convey the information which mm -hmm. we are looking for. Mm -hmm. Another thing which I tell all my patients is to maintain a pain diary. Mm -hmm. In this pain diary, I ask them to write down when did they get the pain, what was the intensity of the pain and what triggered and what relieved the pain. Also, uh what kind of advices do you give to all these women to manage their pain at home? I mean, what are the tips they can do at home? The most common cause is the premenstrual or cyclical pain. Mm -hmm. And for those ladies, there are certain lifestyle changes which I advise. The first one is, of course, uh, meditation for 15 to 20 minutes in the form of pranayama. I also ask them to drink haldi water, which mm -hmm. is a natural anti-inflammatory agent. Mm -hmm. Also wearing a well-supporting sports bra. Mm -hmm helps in reducing this pain, especially before periods. Mm -hmm. Also, what we've noticed that if they reduce their salt and sugar intake mm. before their periods, mm. that prevents the breast engorgement, mm -hmm. which they suffer from and that triggers the breast pain. Yeah. A lot of women ask about coffee. <laughs> Do, should they have or should they not have coffee? But yes, before the periods, if they can cut down on the quantity slightly, hmm. that has shown benefit in few patients. Okay. So ladies, less coffee. Yeah. Hmm. Another common thing which people ask me is, ma'am, would taking vitamin E or maybe an evening primrose oil or maybe a lot of health supplements would help? So they do help in certain kind of breast pains, but uh, what I would recommend to ladies is not to self-medicate. Yes, very important. So I know the breast pain can be a very disturbing and a very distressing symptom for many women. But in all probability, it's a benign and a harmless situation. But the most important thing is that please do not forget to get yourself evaluated by a doctor and please never self-medicate. So ladies, stay safe, stay healthy and stay aware. And if you like the information and if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to Metri and I'll see you soon.